today we're gonna be doing the Niger tag because we're Nigerian. So let's just get right, just in right into to the video. <laughs> All right. So the first question on here is, what's your Nigerian name? What's your Nigerian name? Mm -hmm. Um, I did doing a lot. Me did. Uh, I ain't care. Yeah. My name is Adigbola. I can't lie. I ain't did. Um, favorite Nigerian movie from you, it comes down to Jennifer. Like, uh, yeah, I feel it. I feel if, yeah, like if you if you've watched Jennifer, like you know it's hilarious. It even had it has its own show, Jennifer Diaries. So yeah, they had to make a spin off. They had yeah, to was, like that. Sh like, that movie is just the part one, part two, just hilarious. So if uh, you're Nigerian, have you watched that? Watch it. Definitely, definitely. I'd say my favorite Nigerian movie is gonna have to be maybe Sophia in London or Sophia in London because that's a classic. I feel like that's kind of like the whole Nigeria's version of uh, what's it called coming to America, but you're going to like London mm -hmm. instead. But it's it's dope because it's more authentic. It's kind of like I feel like I feel like coming to America was a little bit cartoonish and it wasn't. It, didn't <laughs> it was funny though. It was, it was funny. funny. It was funny. Like... You know? Shout out! Shout out Eddie Murphy. Um. All right. So next question is favorite Nigerian song. Right now, my favorite Nigerian song is uh, It's Your Boy Easy. You, G, official. <laughs> that one. And then, um, uh, shoot, what does it go? I forgot how it goes. But Fasa Latido. Fasa Latido is a forever, forever classic, forever favorite. And then my forever, forever, ever, ever favorite song. Always gonna be my song. It's okay. Shaking key, grace, okay. Shaking damn off faster. Damn, it's a low. Joe, I love. Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I, I'd say my favorite Nigerian song is probably gonna have to be. Dang <laughs> like shit, right? Yeah. Um, Olufumi by, uh, what's it called? By Star Plus. <laughs> Cause that was just like a classic. I like African <coughs> Queen by uh, Two Face Two. African you. African Queen. Yeah. You are my African Queen. That's a classic. That's a classic. They said sing it. You are my African Queen. Hey, doom. The girl of my dream. You know it's my cat when you move like that. Right. Hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, shout out, shout out to Julia. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> favorite Nigerian food. Me, uh, I don't want to be like saying the typical stuff, jollof rice, fried rice, because everybody likes that. That's always good. But my two dishes, yeah. I'm going to say wanke. If you're Ausa Fulani, you know what that is. It's bomb. If you haven't tried it and you live in Nigeria, you can find it in whatever, like any little corner thingy where you see Ausa people, the Mabuki, they sell that. Like, Mabuki, them. And it's really good, like, it's so bomb. Shout out to you if you're also Fulani, so, yeah, it's really good. Um, and then Gizdodu. Liddy, that's Liddy. Gizdodu is so bomb, like. Liddy, I might have some Liddy today. It's so bomb. <laughs> it's so bomb. Um, I'd say my favorite is a very common, me, I'll be basic, I don't care. Mm. Suya, bro, like, just give me some Suya, bro. Just gali shit with onions, you feel me, just. Suya is so good, man. Suya is life, Suya is life. If you like, know, if you know, if you know. About Suya, you know Suya. Type, if you're not Nigerian, type up Suya. You'll see, like, it's it's spicy, first of all. It's spicy. And Nigerian people love spice. Like, most Nigerians love spice. So, yeah. It's like it's like a kebab, but without all the extra stuff. And it's spicy. It's the main. The meat. You get it's, me? So, next question is, uh, what tribe are you? Guess. You guess. <laughs> so, now, we're Yoruba. But uh, names you could already tell. Like, right. where you're yeah, where you're about. Yeah. Um, say something in your tribal language. Damn, she's from the village, bro. I mean, not, not, that's serious. Like, she's really from the village. Sheesh. But, uh, I'd say, okay, so, yeah. Them Vegas boys, them. Yeah. Kind of. Simple. What do you like the most about Nigeria? I like how authentic like our people are, like how real they are. 
Like, even though Nigerians love to try to westernize, like, I mean, like, I mean, my age people and younger try to westernize, you know, themselves, be so American, and they feel horribly at it. I like the fact that, you know, there's still that sense and pride of being Nigerian. Like, we love our culture, our food, our clothes, our women, our men, you know, our weddings, like, come culture, on, culture, yeah. everything is just so beautiful. I love how beautiful. Shout out, shout out, Migo, Migos, them when they went to Nigeria. Yo, yeah, when you man. Got Nigeria turned. That was a really yeah, good. Yeah, that was lit. Like, shout, we out, come shout up, out Migos, man. them. Shout out David, though. Shout yeah, out all these guys. Definitely. Shout out, Burnham. my favorite thing. Shout out, Burnham. Shout out, <laughs> shout out, Wizzy. That's my man. Yeah. Wiz kid. Shout out him. Shout out everybody else. I forget to shout out. Um, <laughs> I'd say, my Mr. Izzy, you don't get the shout outs. Let me let me run into you at the airport. You said I was just you. <laughs> yes. But uh, what's it called? Yeah, what was I saying? Uh, what do I hate the most? What do I? Oh, we haven't gone to that. What do I like the most? What yeah. I love the most, Niger. I'd say, fine. I'm not gonna lie. I like the food. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like Nigerian. Food I think was bomb. Fine. Like people be, people say like, oh my god, like that looks so weird or something like that. Like Nigerian food looks. Yeah, weird. I've no never, shame. I've never given somebody Nigerian food that they didn't like it. Um, what next do you question hate is the most about Nigeria. Mm, corruption. That's real. I feel like that's such a cor um, typical answer, but like it's real, man. Like corruption is so real back home, and it's like we're here in America, so we don't necessarily have to deal with it or be a part of it, or you know. In Nigeria's defense, it's an it's not just in Nigeria; it's all over Africa. Yeah, but we're talking about Nigeria. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, so we're not like the worst. But, yeah, like, it's bad. and another thing is like back to the corruption is that like you know. The gap between middle class, I mean upper class and lower class is like That's real. Is something real. And That's it's just real. like those who got up to the top when they were like building Nigeria, they stayed on the top and they knocked down the ladder and make made it like it's just like so hard for other people to come up. And they just, you know, their their children, their children's children just continue to enjoy that privilege. In fact, I'm about to get deep for y'all. Chino Achebe said something real. He said, Nigeria will always know... Well, okay, Nigeria will know no peace until the son of no one can become mm. someone without knowing anyone. If that, like, if, if you can, like, feel that. That's so. really real. It's real. Because, honestly speaking, if you think about it and you go into that quote a little bit more, you'll understand that, like, that is the reality of most, like, Nigerians. Defo. That's the reality. Like, yeah, you have like, the people that get to go to America, travel to London, their dad's a senator, as a governor, that's this. And, yeah. But then you have the people that's like, there's no connection. For example, though, those people in university, like, to get into certain universities or get the major that you want, you have to know someone. Like, you have to have connections, which should not be the case. If you're brilliant and you know you're doing your stuff, getting your stuff done, you should just, that should be the determining factor in what major you choose or what like you know getting the major you want not the fact that your mom is friends with this person or your mom has some type of but nah so that's what i hate the most about nigeria i actually yeah everything she said i agree with so i'm not even gonna go into that oh nigerian nicknames i mean i don't have one orusco i mean they don't really call me that any uh yeah, actually that's Sometimes when the whole family's around and they want to like Joan or choke or whatever talk about me when I was a little kid Yeah, Orozco. It's like I don't know why they call me Orozco. I'm kind of guessing because I talk a lot That might be why Yeah, and I was like a chubby baby and like you guys probably wouldn't like ever Yeah, she was mad chubby. I might insert a picture here, but I was a chubby baby AF <laughs> But um, yeah, what makes you different from other Nigerians? What makes me different from other Nigerians is that, like, like I've said this before about, like, what I like about Nigeria is my, I'm well cultured, like, and I take the best of both worlds. Like, I live in America, I know how to, you know, move around American people and stuff like that. I've been in Nigeria, I know how to move around Nigerian people, but I can combine it and make, like, the perfect blend. And when I say that, is that, like, you know, there are some people that are in Nigeria that cannot even speak their language. Unfortunate. And they want to speak America, like, English. And they just bomb that joint. I Jeez. didn't have it. You didn't have it. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> it was all this. It was all this. And, you know, it, it, we end up becoming a laughing stock because well, of that, you know? Like, it it like, become uh, a joke. Yeah. 
Yeah. So like, the fact that. Shout out Pulse TV, like freaking destroying everybody's freaking what's it called? Shout out Pulse TV, them. You guys, you know what I'm saying? They're not making that dance look like one of the trip people. Like, like, how how serious does it have to be that you have to like make fun? These niggas obviously didn't go to school. They're uneducated. And it's not their fault. It's the system, you know. Like they just didn't, you know, in Nigeria, you know, you have to pay for school. Like, yeah. What's that? Toby Chooks. Headass. But no, on a more serious note. Chooks. What do you call them, nigga? Headass. That shit is not good. Cause like it low key like y'all think it's funny. I mean we laugh at it, but I'm pretty sure if it if it gets in the wrong hands, niggas gonna really think, oh, see these African booty scratchers. You know yeah, like, exactly. You know. Come on, nigga. Think about on a more serious think about the repercussions though. of your actions. You feel me? On a more serious, like you are the reason why these people think of us this way. So you're just what's the word? That's okay. You're just perpetuating these stereotypes. Exactly. <laughs> With that being said, I can. How far, like, what, what, as do you know, I can be Nigerian to the core. Like, you would think that I never stepped foot out of the village before. I could be that. Or I, I could be that. <laughs> or I could also just be, like, a very posh person, like... Very posh, you get me. You know, like, you know? And then I could also combine them both, use my culture to... Different, different shades between what's right and what's wrong, how to move around certain people. So I just feel like the fact that I'm able to take the best of both worlds, being Nigerian and living in America. I guess what you're trying to say in a nutshell is she's multifaceted, and that's a great, um, yeah, a great uh, attribute to have. Exactly. So yeah. Um, let's move forward. Uh, you didn't say you, what did I say. What was you I didn't say your own. What what makes me different from all the Nigerians? Yeah. I take time to learn our history. I I value. I like history in general. I know American history. I, learned, I know world history. I know Nigerian history. I think we need to know, learn our history so we don't lose it. Because if even with the language, it goes back to the language as well. If you don't like teach others, like if you don't like, I don't know, take a take it upon yourself upon yourself to actually learn this stuff and like you know pass it to your kids, it's gonna die eventually because nobody nobody's bringing it. Like that's what you hear about these even all these Nigerian people that are in America in America or African people in general that are in America. They didn't like. They didn't claim being Nigeria, being Nigerian, or being Ghanaian, or being whatever until it became a thing. Like until it became cool. Until African Twitter was the best Twitter. They didn't claim it, so they didn't really deem it necessary to understand. Like you know, appreciate their culture, appreciate what their history. They will know about MLK. They will know about everything that happened. Uh, Jesse Jackson. They will know the day he was born. They, they will know all but that they stuff. They teach them in that in school though. I, we can't really blame them too much, but I'm just saying, like, like not, that's what I'm saying. You need not, to take it upon yourself to learn. We're not, your, we're not trying to come off preachy, but we're just saying, like, yeah, it's pretty, it's very important <laughs> for us to have that kind of, like, you know, in, yeah, initiative. Take that initiative to go back and, like, okay, we're gonna know more about our history because if we don't, we're just gonna lose it, and that's unfortunate. You get me? Mm. So <laughs> that's very important. Okay, so the next question is, do you speak your language? Be asking. I'm not even gonna answer that question. Alright, what around your house represents your culture? Everything. Everything like that. Everything. Smell boo, 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 boo. Oh, everything. the food in the house. Everything. The refrigerator, you think that it's butter, it's actually stew. Like shit, ice cream containers. Ice boy. cream containers. <laughs> Niggas open like, the freaking, what's it called? The freezer. You're excited, ice cream you see ice cream. No, you boy, and yeah, goosey like, like shit. But you'll still be happy for a goosey though. You're I mean, like, yeah. that's chill. But I was thinking I was going to get some vanilla. <laughs> vanilla. But what is it. a ridiculous question you were asked about your culture y'all niggas live in huts <laughs> how is it to live in huts oh do you run with cheetahs y'all got a pet lion <laughs> so who's the you president so who's the president of, of africa you speak african you speak african all that shit all that goofy shit honestly but so it's I know you guys don't want to see us go, but that's, that's the end of this video. video. This was kind of short. It was kind of short. I wish you had more interesting questions. You know, we'll, we'll have more videos up for you sooner than you think. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you. Really appreciate it. It's been you Aisha. It's Mo. And that's the end of this video. Right. You're the only power.